It's Friday, guys, and welcome to another review from the Mini Berserker. Me, Matt. <clears throat> Start of the weekend after today, and what does it matter? I'm back at work tomorrow for the next couple of days. Uh, I've got Friday off, so I've got a couple of reviews for you today. Now, I would like to say huge, massive, massive thank you to each and every one of you guys out there supporting me over there on Instagram and on my YouTube channel. I'm over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Nat. Beard map because what I'm trying to do is to work my little tiny backside off into helping and supporting and promoting small brands, small brands, small businesses, small companies, and individuals that are making some amazing products, whether it's clothing, jewelry, beard products, skin products, hair products. We need to really support these small brands because let's face it, they disappear. The only brands we've got left are these huge, massive brands. Now, I don't have a problem per se with them. Um, it's just they, a lot of the time they tend to sell their stuff on their name, if you know what I mean. They've got a shed ton of money that they can find marketing, promoting and advertising their products that these smaller brands don't tend to have. And so it's all about trying to support them and show you guys through honest reviews that I do here. Uh, I've done well over 170 reviews now and each and every one I have done is completely honest. If there's something I wouldn't like about it or don't like about it or reason why I wouldn't go out and buy it, I will let you know. So I use constructive criticism and everything so it's not me blowing smoke rings up brand's backside saying oh yeah it's fantastic stuff go out and buy it i will use constructive criticism because i'm not biased at all everything i do is my own opinion and i'm not affiliated to any of the brands whatsoever so i have another review for you this morning and um, then once i've done that i've got to sort out the review room and get that up and running because i'm doing a load more online rev uh, live reviews sorry very soon and I've got a big giveaway coming up as well so I want to get the room all sorted out for that and I've got another review for you this afternoon not coffee this morning I thought I'd have a whiskey for a change you know day off have a whiskey <laughs> ah, very nice um, so I have a review for you so with all the beard products skin products hair products and stuff that I review I have actually used this this is not just an unboxing because I don't particularly like unboxing videos it doesn't help me in how does the product work how how are you supposed to inform somebody of what it's like if you just looked at it and gone yeah it looks all right yeah it smells okay and you don't use it it doesn't live up to its test so i've used the product so first of all we're going to be having a look at the packaging the product themselves how i thought it performed the price of it and then afterwards i'm going to score it at 20. so zero is i wouldn't touch it with a stinky shitty stick 10 bin is all right sort of stuff and 20 bin absolutely phenomenal. So I've done many moons ago a review for a brand, UK brand called Dapper Dan. Um, they sent me through a couple of products to have a look at and see what I think of and give them and you my honest opinion because surely with businesses and brands, their interest, their, in my opinion, if I had a brand of stuff I would be more interested in hearing the negatives about something and trying to put those right as opposed to just going yeah it's absolutely fantastic stuff so I have done a review for these guys before and basically they do hair products and so today we're going to be looking at the Dapper Dan matte paste and the Dapper Dan heavy hold pomade now first off the bat we're going to have a look at the packaging they go for this kind of like old retro Americana-esque barber shop style and sort of look on the tin. So you've got the kind of was almost like the worn crackle glazed uh, product there with the, the dapper gentleman or dapper dam with his thumb up. And I do like that whole sort of Americana sort of feel and look to stuff, that old retro stuff where gentlemen were gentlemen and sort of like not to the excess of sort of making themselves look pretty, but they, they style themselves. I remember blessing my granddad when he was alive. Every morning he'd get up, he'd shower, he'd brill cream his hair and the old brute on or old spice 
And he always used to have a style, if you know what I mean. Even though, yeah, bless him, he was old, um, even when I was a kid and everything. But he always had this style to him, and it, it wasn't a kind of androgynous style or anything like that. He was a gentleman. Wherever he was going, he was always suited and booted, dressed immaculately. You never saw sort of like a hair out of place. He was constantly combing his hair and brill cream and stuff like that, which is kind of nice to see, and I like that whole feel of these sorts of products. Because, as you know, I love my whole Viking thing. I'm trying to grow my hair out still into almost like a ponytail and braid it and everything else like that. And I love pomades always have done kind of like that sort of slick back look and it's nice to see that pomades and the old sort of ways have come back again if you know what I mean because for a while we were uh, there were loads and loads of waxes gels I, I'm I don't like gel particularly very much for the hair waxes and clays and stuff and it's really nice to see through the whole sort of rockabilly, psychobilly, and sort of retro movement and everything else like that, that these pomades are coming back now in a huge, massive way, which is great to see. Now, first of all, like I say, packaging on this, love the packaging. Put me reading goggles on because without them, I can't see Fanny Adams. And so, heavy hold pomade. Now, these guys um, basically were formed in Sheffield in 2011. The nice thing as well about the products is they are not tested on animals and why the hell should they be? There is no product at all um, that sh sort of like goon products or any beer products that should be tested on animals, which is great. So we're going to be having a look at the matte paste first, then we'll have a look at this one, the heavy hold pomade. Now, I have used these. I've used them both. So first of all, I'm screwing the top. This is a 100ml tin. I know that because I've done my research and it says on the tin at the bottom, 100 mil. So this is a paste. Now, paste is kind of, it's not quite a clay, it's not quite, quite a wax or something like, it's in between almost to a certain degree like a bit of a brill creamy sort of thing. Now the texture on this, this one here is allegedly strong hold and sorry, high hold, uh, strong hold and a low shine. Now, people often say to me, well, pomades and hair, they make your hair look greasy. Not washing your hair and looking after your hair, that makes it look greasy. When you use pomades and stuff like that, it doesn't look like you haven't washed your hair. It is a hair grease. So there is a difference in look between just, not, just being scruffy and not washing your hair and using a product in your hair which has a high shine. So don't let that sort of sway you if you see products with medium shine, high shines. Some people like a matte product, which basically kind of leaves their hair almost natural. But if you, even if you look at your hair, it does have a shine to it. And so it just kind of accentuates this. Um, but like I say, this is a matte one. And it's really good. It's got a good strong hold to it. Uh, the scent of it... On their website, it's got down as a cologne. I would class the scent from it as barbershop cologne, if you know what I mean. If you've gone into the barbers and you can smell all the products and sprays and everything like that, that they use, this has got that sort of scent to it. It's a very clean, crisp, mature sort of scent, if you know what I mean. Very barbershop-esque in style. And the scent on this does last a nice while, and I really like the scent of it. It's not to knock your head off, it's just sort of sits there in the middle, nice background sort of scent to it, but it's very nice and very fresh and clean smelling. Now, the nice thing as well with this is it's really good for adding texture to your hair, okay? Um, it's also flexible. Now, with a lot of pomades and stuff like that, they're oil-based and it takes a, it's a nightmare to wash them out because of the build-up and they're made out of petroleum and stuff like that, or petroleum jelly and stuff like that. Um, this product is water soluble, um, it's washed out first time, no signs of flaky, itchy skin or anything like that, or build up in the hair. There's nothing worse than with sprays and stuff, you put it in your hair and if your hair starts moving it almost cracks, chips, and you get bits of it falling out and chunks of it sitting in your hair. This is nice and it does um, sort of like emulsify when you put it in your hand and so you're not putting like loads of stuff. And remember with hair products, Less is more. You can always add less 
We'll add more to your hair, but if you put on a big dollop of it, you're gonna have to wash it out if you've got too much in there. So I would say go for a small amount. And for my hair length and what I've been using, I've literally kind of used that, if you couldn't see. So not particularly much, and because I can, like I say, always add more. It does wash out very quickly. The, in the nice thing with this product as well is it does put a lot of texture into your hair as opposed to clumping it together and it's water soluble and throughout the day you can use a damp comb run your fingers through your hair so it does have a flexible hold as well too so it's not just rigid the wind blows and your hair doesn't move so it's always nice to have a bit of what's the word mobility motion a bit of give flexibility in your hair and everything as opposed to it being clamped in one place and it is a very good product it literally does exactly what it says on the tin which is nice to see i like the packaging on it and whether it's high shine low shine no shine matte i don't particularly mind um and it, it's it's a good product it's a nice paste and like i say it washes out first time beautiful scent to it and it's a great product Moving on, <coughs> excuse me, coughing away. Mm -mm -mm. We have the Dapper Down Heavy Hold Pomade. Now, pomade is basically kind of what they used to use back in the day in barbershops, if you know what I mean. Um, for that rocker look, the greaser look, um, rockabilly, and all that sort of stuff, Elvis Presley, and everything. For those classic, classic haircuts with the pompadours and everything else like that. I try and get a bit of height on mine. My hair is quite thin, and um, so it's nice to use a product that doesn't make it appear thinner, which pomade doesn't tend to do. So upon getting this, I thought, great, a heavy hold pomade to have a look at and use. Just put my glasses on, because pomade tends to have that sort of clear, jelly-like look to it, um, because of the petroleum jelly and stuff like that in there. And so I thought heavy hold pomade, this is going to be cool, oil based, water soluble. And opening it up, I was kind of shocked because it's like that and it's not kind of what I expected. I was expecting a clearish lit, um, sort of gel like uh, the other Dapper Down one that I did review which was kind of like a classic pomade. Now this pomade is kind of... It's an oil-based one, it's really weird. Now, oil-based petroleum jelly and stuff like that means it is a nightmare to wash out of your hair. It's good because you get what's kind of classed as, my best day when I've washed my hair is the third day afterwards when I'm starting to get products in it, my hair's getting a, a style to it and everything. Because my hair is fine, I find the third day is the best hair day that I have. Then when I wash it again, sort of like fourth day, fifth day, then I have to sort of like go back to scratch. And um, this product is absolutely stunning. Because it's oil-based, it, I thought it was going to take a few washes to get it out. But this has no petroleum in it. So even though it's oil-based, it is water-soluble. Now the hold of this, is it's a good hold, but it is still a pliable thing. It doesn't hold your hair in one place. Um, you can constantly throughout the day because I've tried it and used it. It's got a nice shine to it as well, sort of medium to high shine, kind of sitting in somewhere in between. You've got ridiculously shiny and your medium is kind of sitting up there. And the, you can play around with this, so it doesn't set it in one style. It's almost kind of got like a shine, brill creamy sort of style to it. Really good for those pompadours and getting some peaks on their hair and everything and your slick backs and comb overs and everything. And I have to admit, this is actually one of the best pomades I have tried so far. Um, I've tried quite a few of them, and I've got a couple more that I've got down to review, but this is one of my favorite ones because it does exactly what a pomade should do. It's heavy, it's got a good amount of hold to it, it's reworkable, it's got a nice amount of shine, and with being a hybrid one, which means it is water soluble and you haven't got to wash your hair five or six times to get the product out. <coughs> and also with this one, with a lot of water soluble ones, the pomade dries in the hair and goes kind of almost crispy. This one doesn't. It's always kind of supple and it doesn't 
sort of like set your hair in just a big thick lump of hair and goo. And I have to admit, this is one of my favourite, favourite pomades that I've tried. The scent of it is down on the website as licorice and vanilla, which I like licorice and I like vanilla. I'm detecting personally for me, slightly more vanilla and a very tiny back note of licorice. The licorice is not ridiculously knock your head off because it's one of those scents that you can use that will just obliterate any other scent and it's the same as cinnamon, star anise and bits and pieces. But it's got a very nice warm scent to it. And this product is literally stunning. If you like your hair pomades, you go for the Rockabilly, Greaser, Psychobilly, uh, Rocker Look. This is one of the best I've actually literally tried. And it, what I think I am going to do is I'm going to, in a month or so's time, put all my favourite pomades together and go through them and why I like each one because there are some really good ones out there and this is one of the best that I have used. Like I said, it comes in a 100ml tin. I know that because it says it's 100ml and it says it on the website where I've done, done my research. I like the fact with this brand as well, Dapper Dan, that they only have around about four products out. Um, sort of hair products, styling products, um, which is nice because rather than having a thousand and one different hair products, what they're doing is got four products out and they're all very good, if you know what I mean, which is nice to see. So it comes to price. I was expecting, <clears throat> because the whole men's grooming thing is a billion pound industry out there, if you know what I mean, and loads of products on the markets now for men. I thought these were going to be sort of like 15, 20 quid, but they're not. They are £11.95 each, both 100ml tins. Like I say, they are based in the UK, which is nice to see, and made in the UK. I uh, know they've got branches all around the globe and everything now, uh, but a stunning lineup of products. Now, I don't have a problem with either of these. I think that's good if you like your hair matte paste. And if you like your pomade, then this is fantastic. So for different reasons, this one I'm scoring straight up 20 out of 20 because it is literally one of the best pomades I've used. I don't have a problem with using grease based and stuff like that and the build up in the hair, but it's one of the best hybrid pomades that I've actually tried. And it'd be interesting. If there's anyone out there that's got a pomade that they think would match this or is better than, I would love to hear from you because this is epic stuff. This as well, although it's not something that I would necessarily <clears throat> use, it's still a very good product. So I'm gonna score this as 20 as well, because if you like your matte paste, it's gonna be right up your alley, it's a very good one. But out of the two, I would certainly use this one more than I would this one, although both products have got a very good standard to them and the consistency between the two is really good. So they are both good products. So that's why they both score 20, even though I would use this one over that one. Um, so if I was to go out and buy hair products, I'd go out and buy this one over this one, but they're both still good. But there you go. And thank you to Dapper Dan for sending that through. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, I hope you have enjoyed my review. Like I say, love pomades and stuff. Uh, so anyone out there that's making a pomade or has any good ideas on a pomade, I would love to hear from you. Love the packaging as well. So thank you guys. I hope you have a wonderful Friday wherever you are, whatever you're getting up to, whatever you're doing. I hope you keep on taking care of each other, keep on looking after each other, keep on loving each other, keep on growing those beards. If you are growing one, if you're not growing one, eh, who cares? But I look forward to seeing you this afternoon in the next review from the Bearded Berserker. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a great one. Thank you.